If you're an Angular developer, chances are you've heard about ng-template. So what is it and how to use it in our projects? Let's find out in this video. Hey everyone, I'm Zueb Khan and welcome back to my channel. Now ng-template, like ng-container, is a special element in Angular. The key thing here is that it is not rendered in the DOM by default. So how do you render it in your apps? There are at least three ways to go about it. Let's look at each of them with an example. Number one. So the first and the simplest way is to use it with an ngf directive. So whenever we are specifying a condition in our template, we can add an else clause and specify our ng template there. So for example, we have the sign up app I created for one of my tutorials. In this, we have a toolbar which shows a profile information when the user is logged in and a login button when the user is logged out. Now to add that, as you can see in the code, we have an ng if here with the user checking uh, whether the user is valid or not. So let's add a template here with the login button, something like this. And we have given it a specifier of login button. And so to add an else clause here, what we're going to do is we're going to just add else and login button. And when we test it and we log out, we should see the login button here. So this template is displayed when the ng if goes into the else condition. Now we could also do this with a not operator, but this is more readable code and you don't need to repeat the condition except for in this ng if. I use it this way whenever I come across an if else scenario in my templates. Another way to show ng template in your apps is to use the ng template outlet structural directive. This is useful when you want to reuse a part of your template in multiple places in your template file. So for example, let's say you have a logo with a name in your template and you want it to show in the toolbar and the footer as well. Here is an ng template defining a logo and that name. Then we can simply add, for example, an ng container here and use the ng template outlet directive and specify this logo and we'll also add it to the container and to the footer let's check this out great so as you can see now the template outlet or the logo appears in both places here great now what if you want to reuse the logo but with an additional text in front of it for that we need to send a context to the ng template a context is basically just an object containing any number of properties. So here we'll send the name which appears besides the logo in the object. So we're going to first add a provision for handling the name here and we're going to declare the name as let name and name. And then we're going to add this name just as we do any variable here. So to pass it, what we do is we add a semicolon and we specify a context like this name and let's say we give a name of header here because it's appearing in the header and then we copy it with a content and here as the footer let's test this out great so now you can see the text is substituted in different areas so this is one way in which you can customize the content of the ng template according to your needs according to your specific set of data the third way we can render the ng template is to do it programmatically. For this purpose, we use the view child decorator to get the ng template in our component code, and then we can add it wherever we want. Let's show this with an example of a card grid and a card view template that we add dynamically to it. Okay, so as you can see here, we already have a card template defined using the angular material card component. The template expects a number property in its context here so that it can show it in the title and it has a name of card template. We want to get this template inside of our component. So we are going to go in our app component and we're going to use the view child decorator for that. So we'll add view child and we'll give it a name of card template. This will be a card template as well and we are going to make it a type of template reference any now where do we want to add this template so for that we will define a div which has a styling to convert all within it into a grid format so we have already run that here and then we'll give an ng container element inside of it like this and we'll add a grid identifier to it 
and then let's go back to our code and let's add another view child decorator to get this we will do this grid so we are going to read it as the view container reference and this will be a grid and we're going to use the type of grid container reference great so we already have a button handler here called add card and a button here as you can see so we're just going to go ahead and add the code in a handler so the first thing we do here is to actually create the view using the ng template so for that we are going to go in the card template and use its function create embedded view now this takes in the context as the parameter now remember the context in the previous example it's exactly the same so in our case we are going to give a number here now since we don't have a number here we are going to define a variable and give it a value of 1 first and then we are going to pass it here the second thing we need to do is to add the card or the view to the grid so we are going to do this dot grid and there is an insert function for the view container reference which we can use and we are going to use the view here great the last thing that we need to do is to just increment the number so that we can have a different number in each card great so let's test this out let's click on add card with template and you can see we can add the cards and when we keep adding it it's going to adjust itself into a grid because the parent div is already styled as a grid of course now you can extend this idea as much as you want so for example you can present a form to the user and allow them to enter the card information and then pass it in the context to populate the new card view great so here were three ways to use the ng template in your apps i hope you found this short video useful and if you did please consider subscribing to my channel so that i can keep bringing you new angular tips and tricks like this thanks for watching